Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Resist him steadfast in the faith. Now, Peter clearly tells that the devil is like a roaring lion. He seeks whom he may devour, which means he wants to plunder what belongs to God's children. John 10, 10, Jesus says that the thief comes to steal and to kill and to destroy. That is the role and the function of Satan. He, he steals our healing. He steals our finances. He steals the peace in the family. And uh, he does that. Now the thing is, many times the devil doesn't do it directly. He uses uh, other ways. He uses situations. He uses sometimes some people to spoil the peace. He uses some people to, to rob you of your financial well-being. It could have happened in your life in the past. Many times what we think is it is that person who has done this to me. And we get offended, we get upset, we get angry, we develop bitterness or resentment concerning or towards a person who's been the reason for stopping your promotion, for making your life feel miserable, for other reasons why you're not able to move forward in life. Now, that itself is a trick of the enemy because if the devil could make you angry and bitter, then he knows for sure that you're not moving forward because bitterness and anger is going to keep a person, hold a person from moving forward. So this widow was too smart that she did not go and fight the enemy herself but she knew the nature of the enemy that she could not win this battle in her physical strength. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. Paul writes, it's, it's a very key scripture that we need to uh, understand in life about our battle. It says, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly place. So we're not supposed to fight these uh, things with our own strength. Sometimes in bull fighting, a man holds a red cloth and the bull thinks that the red cloth is the enemy because it gets angry looking at the red and, and tries to charge, but then, you know, it actually is overpowered by the man. So this keeps happening, but the bull never understands that the man holding the red cloth is actually the person who is against it. So firstly, we need to understand that our battle is not against flesh and blood or people or human beings or the situation, but the devil himself. So if you've been fighting a situation, You've been making a lot of efforts, but you feel things are not progressing. You feel you're fighting people in your workplace, people who don't want to uh, see you go up. And maybe you're fighting even a peaceless situation in the family. It's time to actually shift the battle from the natural to the spiritual. Because it's actually the unseen that controls the scene the supernatural that controls the natural. The widow, instead of fighting the enemy directly, she went to the judge.